Hey guys, I'm C85, and today what I'm going to go over is how to remove a staked castle nut. To go over the reason for staking a castle nut, it is per mill specifications, military specifications, or mill spec, but the reason to do it is to make sure that this castle nut cannot back out at all. And if you think about it, if this backs out, your retaining plate then will move back, then your spring and detent will move back and then your buffer will not. Basically your AR-15 becomes 100% useless if this castle nut backs out. Now some people recommend using Loctite and things of that nature and yeah you can do that. There's a million ways to do one thing that all end in the same result but I choose to keep everything mill spec and that's why I went ahead and staked this. Now you may be asking yourself okay well you staked it why do you need to remove it? Well my issue is is that this receiver extension or buffer tube it doesn't fit my stock very well the other thing I don't like is that it has this dry film lube on it and it's gray in color and for you guys who know me well enough I got a little bit of the OCD so that's bugging me and Mr. Burge the owner of reapertactical.com was nice enough to send me a nice shiny Voltor black receiver extension so thank you very much Mr. Burge, I am absolutely going to put this to good use right now. So let's go ahead and get started on how to remove this. The only thing you're going to need is one of these wrenches, which if you build ARs you're going to have one anyway. It's specifically made to fit into the castle nut. So you can see the stake here. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. So there you can see the stake right there and how it looks. I also made a video on how to stake a castle nut so you might want to check that out too. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy off. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the buffer out. And you got to remember righty tighty lefty loosey. And I'm going to try doing it by hand first. And if that isn't possible then you just got to keep this in place and then whack the handle with a mallet. So let's try and give it... There we go. Seriously guys, everyone who says that, oh you can't stake a castle nut, it's completely permanent. I just did that with hand pressure. So there you are guys, that's how to remove a staked castle nut. You just gotta use some elbow grease, and as you can see there's really no damage at all to the castle nut, so I will go ahead and reuse this for reinstallation. Hopefully this video was helpful guys, talk to you later.